Hi, I'm Jill Jaworski, the Director of Arts Education with Arts for All Wisconsin. Today, I'm here at our Art Center in Madison, and I'm going to answer a few questions about our annual Call for Art exhibition and how it will be a little bit different this year. Who is eligible to submit art? We welcome art submissions from any Wisconsin artist at least five years old who identifies as having a disability. What kinds of art can I submit? This year, there are two submission categories, visual art and poetry. Visual art can be things like drawings, paintings, sculpture, textiles, collage, even digital media. Poetry submissions should focus on the theme of home. So some questions to get you thinking might be, what does home mean to you? What do you think of when you think of home? What do you miss about home when you're away? I really haven't been making art during the pandemic. What can I do? That's okay. You can submit any work you've ever created as long as it hasn't already won an award with us or stick around to the end of the video and we'll create something together. How is a virtual exhibition even going to work? Submissions should be completed on our website, artsforallwi.org. You can find the programs tab and go to call for art. This is where you'll find the entry form and other resources to submit your work. All submissions will be displayed in an online gallery on our website showcasing the work of artists with disabilities from around the state of Wisconsin. You won't need to send us your physical art pieces unless you win an award. Tell me more about these awards. We have a panel of jurors who will view all of the submissions and choose Creative Power Award winners from each age category, child, youth, young adult, and adult. Awards will be given based on creativity, originality, and craftsmanship. The winning pieces will be added to our Creative Power Traveling Exhibition and tour the state of Wisconsin for three years. I still have some other questions. Reach out by email or phone and we'd be happy to talk through any other questions you have. Also, make sure to check out our website and take a look at the video breaking down each step of the submission form process. Now let's make some art together. For this activity, you will need a piece of paper, any size and any color is just fine, and your favorite tool for making marks. This could be markers, pencils, crayons, paint brushes, any medium that you choose. This activity is really open-ended and there's no right or wrong answers. Remember, our judges are going to be looking for creativity, craftsmanship, and originality when they look at your submissions. Our first step is to draw two dots anywhere on the page. Here's one, and here's two. Next, we're going to connect those dots with anything but a straight line. You can use zigzags, you can use squiggles, you can go all over the page wherever you'd like to connect those dots. Just don't use one straight line. So I'll start at my first dot and I'm going to take a trip around the page, maybe down here, over to this corner. I'll make some straight lines, maybe a zigzag over here, loop around this way down to the bottom again and we made it to our second dot. Now you have squiggles and lines and shapes all over your page. The next phase is to take some of those shapes that are connected all together like this right here I can see is one shape that's closed off by these lines and I can color that shape with purple. I might find another shape mm, over here. That one's also closed off and I'll color that one purple too. 
If you don't have enough shapes that are closed, you can close them yourself now. Over here, I kind of want this to be a shape. So I'm going to add another line here so that I can color that one in. And maybe I want to make this one curl around here so it looks like a question mark. And I can color that one in too. Use as many shapes and as many colors as you want to fill your page. Once you feel like you're finished, take a picture and submit it to our 2021 Call for Art exhibition. Happy art making!